Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, Vasil Lomachenko has finally announced that he will be returning. He's leaving the Ukraine, and he's planning on returning to the ring as soon as October. Coincidentally, that's the same month that Devin Haney, the undisputed champion, will be returning to the ring. But we know Lomachenko's not going to be fighting against Devin Haney in this first fight back. Now, this is great news for boxing. But it puts Lomachenko in a bit of a conundrum because remember, Lomachenko is the one that vacated his belt rather than fight his mandatory Devin Haney like three years ago, which tells you Lomachenko he has more respect for Devin Haney than probably any fighter right now. You know, this is why it's so difficult to move up and wait and be completely dominant like the great Floyd Mayweather was. Ever since Lomachenko moved up to 135, He's looked very immortal. He struggled in a lot of fights. He struggled against Jorge Linares. He struggled against Luke Campbell. He didn't even look that fantastic against Jose Pedraza. But in the Linares fight alone, he was actually down on the scorecards, got knocked down. And if it wasn't for that last minute stoppage by Lomachenko, Jorge Linares, he would have been the second person to beat Lomachenko. So these are the reasons why Lomachenko has not been in a hurry to fight the undisputed champion Devin Haney right now because he knows that Devin Haney is way better than all those fighters that he struggled against before. But it's going to be hard to avoid a Devin Haney fight now because now Devin Haney, he has all of the belts. He even has the belts that Lomachenko used to have. You have to go through Devin Haney to become a champion at the lightweight division. And Devin Haney, he's already made it very clear. The only two fights that he wants is the Lomachenko fight and the Javante Tank Davis fight. I tell you guys all the time, old media's plans often backfires on them. ESPN and the rest of old media, they put Lomachenko pound for pound on the list above Devin Haney. And all that does is puts a bigger target on Lomachenko's back. This is the reason why Devin Haney, he's not going to 140. He's saying, oh, okay, you're going to disrespect me like that and put this man Lomachenko above me on the pound for pound list, even though he just lost to the guy that lost to the guy that I just beat, even though I'm the one that won the Super Bowl in the lightweight division while Lomachenko lost in the playoffs. Okay, then I'm going to wait around so I can get this Lomachenko fight to see what old media is going to do once I beat him. This is the same reason why Devin Haney has become the undisputed, the real undisputed champion in the lightweight division. Because old media, they kept lying to the public, misleading the public, and telling everyone that Teofimo was undisputed. George Cambosis was undisputed. So that made Devin Haney say, okay, you're going to disrespect me and not even tell people that I'm the real WBC champion, so there's no way those guys can have all four belts? Okay, now my only mission is to fight for all of the belts. I'll even take a pay cut if I have to take all the belts. Every single thing old media does, their plans often backfires on them. And this is the reason why I truly believe Devin Haney, he should stay at 135 as long as it takes to force Lomachenko to take a title shot. And it sounds crazy, doesn't it? The champion is most likely going to have to force the challenger into taking a title shot. But it will all be worth it if Devin Haney gets this fight. This fight would be huge, especially once again when it comes to the way old media praises Lomachenko. They praise him as if he's still undefeated. They praise him you remember, it wasn't that long ago that ESPN, they were comparing Lomachenko to Floyd Mayweather. In fact, saying that Lomachenko was better than Floyd Mayweather. 
So this is what Devin Haney is going to be going up against. But first, Lomachenko, he has to get past his first opponent. We don't know who that's going to be. Hopefully, it's a decent opponent. And hopefully, right after that, he will be going into a title shot. Because we already know he was planning on fighting against Cambosis. He should need more than one tune-up after this long layoff. Let's see how it plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolinas and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.